before you can install and configure an agent, you need to have an unused license available. If you need to check this, go to the admin client and the system dashboard. Now, agents are licensed in pairs and installed in pairs. One pair includes an upload agent and a compare agent. Here we can see that an agent license package has been purchased for this system and that so far none of the 100 available license pairs are being used. To install an agent on a computer, the first thing you'll need to do is go to the server and the server archive. Find the folder VDOG Agent Setup and remember that you need to copy the VDOG Agent Setup to the computer that you want to install the agent on. Do not run it here on the server. So here we go. This is the agent computer. Now the agent computer can have the version dog client applications installed on it, but that is not necessary. This computer does not have any version dog software installed. Either way, the process of installing an agent is the same. So open up the folder. Here we are. Agent Setup EXE. Now there's a key step coming up. Yes, definitely run as administrator. OK. Next. Yes. Next. Now here we need to set the user account under which the agent services will run. Now this account will need to have full rights to the agent archive directory. And in addition to that, depending on what third party software you'll be working with, this account will need further rights. You can find more information in version dog info. If you have a user set up and you know exactly what to enter here, then enter it now. Otherwise, you can use local system account now to allow you to move past this step and complete the installation. Then you can change the account later. Now, we're just going to flash forward and show you how that's done. So here we are in the future after you've installed the agent. And this is how to change the user account. It's fairly straightforward. Go to services. It's already open here. You will have to do this twice, once for VDOG compare agent and once for VDOG upload agent. I'll just show it to you with the upload agent. Go to properties, log on. That's what we selected when we installed. Now we'll specify an account that we know has all the necessary rights. And in this Windows dialog, we can browse, which makes things a little easier. So we enter the bit that we know for sure. Check names and there it is. And here's an important tip for you. If the user you enter is a domain user, then that user must be a member of the group local administrators. Then of course, we need to remember that the password has not been entered, even though Windows makes it look like there is already a password there. Apply. OK. And again. And we have to stop and restart, which we can do here. Now, back to the past. OK, this is where we were. Of course, it is ideal if you have a user set up and know all the necessary rights have been granted and know exactly what to enter here. But I'm going to pretend that that's not the case and select local system account. Next. Yes, that's OK. Next. Finish. OK, now the agents do not have a user interface. If you want to, you can see that they are installed in services. The quickest way is usually to select any service, then just type V. And there they both are. Compare agent and upload agent. The next thing is to establish a connection between the server and the newly installed pair of agents. For that, we have to go back to a computer 
that has the version dog client applications installed and launch the admin client. And we perform this step in the jobs module. But don't worry, we do not have to do this for each job, just once. Agent configuration. And this is where we create a new connection. I'll give it a name. And I'll put an underscore in there to make it stand out. So here we need the IP address of the computer on which the agent is installed or the static name. I'll just quickly go to the other computer and get the IP address. OK. Yeah, make a note of that. And back again. If I click in, it will automatically fill in the name that I just entered. No, thank you. Here's the IP. Test the connection. Fine. But just one quick tip here. If you get a failed port connection, the most likely cause is a firewall policy. So. Now that we've connected the server to the pair of agents, when we come to configure a job, we just go ahead as normal. And in the upload and compare section, if we need to, we can select our agent to perform the upload. and also the compare. Now you have to select an agent for both upload and compare in almost all cases, so that the third party software can perform both of these tasks. But RS Logix 5000 is an exception. And as far as I know at the moment, the only exception. With RS Logix 5000, you do not need to select a compare agent. We only need to use the third party software for the upload. And version dog can compare RS Logix 5000 files without any additional software. If with RS Logix 5000 you do select a compare agent, it won't do any harm. It's just not necessary and the job will probably take longer. All other devices, you do have to select both. OK, that's it. Then save as usual. And when the job runs, it will be triggered by the agent and performed on the PC on which the agent and the third party software is installed.